We're going to take a quick look at the CCI shot shell in 40 caliber. This is a neat little cartridge with a specific purpose. Pest control. It's right there on the front of the packaging. I'm going to show you a couple of things in this quick video. One, that it is effective for that, or should be, under the right conditions. Number two, it is not a good choice for self-defense. So with a sampling of some very basic tests, I hope to show you both of those objectives. As you can see on the packaging, the 40 caliber uses a number 9 shot with approximately 100 pellets inside of there. Let's see how close we can get. They're covered up by a small piece of plastic which is going to be blown out of the way as those are coming out of the muzzle. And just a quick check, this is a Glock 22 which is unloaded by the way. A couple of Glock 22 magazines and you can see the profile of how the CCI shot shell on the left compares to a Remington Golden Saber 180 grain on the right. Next question, how does it cycle in a semi-auto handgun? Let's see whether or not these will cycle the Glock 22. Two shots. That was somewhat of a surprise. I was kind of shocked by that because the 9mm variety will not cycle in my Glock 19. I used to own a Glock 30, 45 caliber. They did cycle in that gun quite reliably. But just get online, look at the various gun postings. You'll see that it's hit or miss with these cycling. So I was really surprised when these did. And you need something that's going to cycle as close to 100% as possible with your self-defense load. Pine board at five feet. Taking a look at the three paper targets, again that was five, ten, and fifteen feet. When you come in on the five foot target, really tight group. That would probably be effective on small rodents or even large rodents at this distance and snakes. And I want to say I'm not advocating that you kill snakes. In fact, it is against the law here in Tennessee. So I would like to make that clear. That larger hole is the plastic wad. So you have that in this cartridge much like you would have a plastic wad in a shotgun shell. There is the Tennessee contractor hose snake, by the way. So you can get some uh, relevance there on that diameter versus the target and pattern. Really opening up to 10 feet and then even more so at 15 feet. Actually, those don't look that much different, but there is a, a wider spread there. So there are your three patterns. Now with regard to penetration, and again this was just a piece of pine board, but I ran the same test on the 9mm uh, CCI test. Plastic wad is embedded down in here. You can see where the pellets are hitting, the pattern. We had seven or eight that actually came through. You can see the impact because this was nailed uh, to a dead tree. So, you know, for self-defense, you look at the pattern, you look at that, you have a chance, and I mean a chance, that's it at five feet. That's, that's close. And you look at your penetration where you have literally a handful of pellets that are going through um, three-quarter inch of, again, a wood material. But I just cannot recommend this for self-defense. For pest, sure, that's what it's designed for. And finally, the water jug set up at 10 feet. The first one is with the shot shell. Second, Remington Golden Sabre, 180 grain jacket and hollow point. On the wrap-up, this is going to do very well at close distances, arm's length, on little critters and varmints. Beyond that, uh, good luck. You can have fun with it. That's about all. Self-defense, I'm just not seeing it. Even at five feet, that is, uh, at best, going to slow something down. Fight stopper, yeah, there's a percentage there, but it's very, very small.
penetration, why would you want to sacrifice 12, 14, 18 inches or so of a jacketed hollow point to get three quarters of an inch with a handful of pellets? Why would you want to do that? Energy displacement, not a question. You could clearly see that on the regular speed and the slow motion as well. This is a good tool for pest control. Anything beyond that, you're taking your chances. It's your choice. Thanks for watching.